Investigate and describe that the more mass an object has, the less effect a given force will have on the object's motion. Observe the effect of a force on objects in motion. I'm going to apply a force to this steel sphere. The effect was to move it across the table. Here's one that's slightly larger. It does the same thing. It has slightly more mass than the first one. Now you can see they're getting bigger and they're starting to roll a little bit slower. I'm using the same force for each of the spheres. Now this one having more mass went to the other side of the table but it didn't come back. Now the largest of these with the most mass just goes to the other side and stops. The same force applied to each of the spheres. Now we're going to put those same spheres into motion by rolling them down a short ramp. Ping the ball across. Here's the next one. A little bit more mass and a little bit more and you'll see that each time I apply the same force to an object with a mass that is slightly larger than the others, the same force has less effect on the objects with larger mass. Now here I'm going to use ghost mode so you can see all of the spheres being hit at the same time in slow motion. Let's take a look at that again. The same force has the most effect on the object with the least mass. The object with the greatest mass, the same force has almost no effect.